the Joe Rogan experience. That's what I, happens. I think I need some of those pills you, you sell. You need testosterone. Yeah. You need some t- TRT. Testosterone is that, is that legal? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I think I need some of that. I need some you energy, too. You definitely need too. some of that. Yeah. Dude, I've been on that shit for 10 years. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. And they make it just... a bunch of different ways now, too. There's, They were making a spray for a while. Like It was like a, under the tongue. You could like put drops in. And then I don't know if they're doing that anymore, but they have a cream. The cream is good, but if you hug people, it gets on them. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Wait, where like do you rub you, it on you? You rub it on your chest or your arms. So if you have uh-huh. sex with your wife, you, your wife start, might grow a mustache. <laughs> would be fucking very strange that would be like a really creepy way if you were like really into dudes but you were married to a woman you're yeah. like hmm how do I how do I bridge this gap yeah <laughs> you just right. like I'm on TRT and you would rub it all over your chest and immediately get it on her and, you, and she'd be like what the fuck are you doing give her protein shakes yeah. make her go to the gym a lot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. hey honey you, you look good with short hair put her under stress too make her work more there's something that happens with women. Apparently, there was a study on uh, career women, and they don't know if it's a correlation or causation thing, because <clears throat> maybe the reason why they were career career women in the first place is because they had a lot of testosterone. But they were they would notice that women have to fend for themselves. Women have to take care of themselves. They 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 generally have more testosterone. Interesting. Yeah, which makes sense. But it doesn't. I you, you never know. Like what came first, the chicken or the egg? Is that like who they are, or are they developing more testosterone because they are, they have to be out there competing? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I I remember I was uh, I I used Rogaine for a while. I was actually I got approached by my agent, and he goes, <laughs> um, "You got an offer to do a commercial, a series of commercials." I said, "For what?" And he goes, "Rogaine." I go, "But I don't. My hair is not thinning." And he's like. Yeah. So uh, it's five commercials. I was in denial about it. I was like 29, and I guess I was starting to crown a little bit, but I didn't notice. And so he goes, do you want to do it? And I was like, ah, I don't know. Um, I'm about to move out to L.A. I want to maybe do some acting. I don't want to be seen maybe on TV as the Rogaine guy. And he's like, I talked to them, and they said it's only going to be on like ESPN4 at 2 in the morning. Don't worry about it. Whatever. And I go, go, all right, fuck it. I'm moving to L.A. I got no money. I'll do it. I'll get health insurance out of it. I'm about to get married. So I I record the commercials, and the the tagline is, it's me in a pharmacy, and I'm looking at a bottle, and it's minoxidil 5. They just jacked it up from 3 to 5. And I go, uh, four out of five, they, the voiceover goes, four out of five doctors say this will work. And then I go, I look at the camera and I go, four out of five, I like my chances. Oh, Jesus. So I there go, you are. There you are. So I, oh, so I do it. <laughs> I do it. And then uh, there he is. There's that guy. <laughs> I like the nod. <laughs> You're like, yeah, so, this is legit. So, they, uh, so all of a sudden, it starts running. It runs... During the fucking playoffs, March Madness, every guy I've ever met was calling me and going, I like my, I'm walking down the street, I like my chances. It was everywhere. Yeah. And so they gave me a, they gave me a a fucking supply for years and I was using it and I would, my wife wouldn't let me cuddle with her because she don't, you put on your head at the end of the, before you go to bed. Yeah. You cuddle up next to her and get your fucking hair on her neck, Ugh. and it made you all greasy. My greasy. pillows were all greasy, and all it really grew was like a f- like a fuzz. Yeah. Did you ever try that shit? Yeah, I tried that shit. I tried everything. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I'd shaved my head way earlier. It's so easy. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow for oh the first God. time in my life. Once I shaved my head, I was like, "Why am I fucking around with all this hair?" Yeah. I, if I had a full head of hair, I'd shave my fucking head. I'd shave my head like every two weeks. I just let it grow to stubble and then shave it down again. Let it grow to stubble. It's like, it's so much easier. How often do you shave it? Every couple of days. You take a razor and shaving cream? Like, oh, you just use a buzzer? Yeah, yeah, easy. I have one that has like, uh, it's made for shaving your head. It's got like a handle on it. It's like an electric razor. Just wah, 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 so you don't miss any spots. How long does it take? A couple minutes. It's easy. Feel good? Yeah, it's great. I don't have to think about it. That's what I like. I don't this. I don't think about this. I used to th- worry about my hair when my hair was falling out. When yeah. something's out of your control, for people who have a full head of hair, they really don't understand this. When you start losing your hair, young Jamie, son of a bitch. When you start losing your hair, you you just go, oh my god, like there's nothing I can do about this. Mm-hmm. This is terrible. Like there's nothing you can do. And then you look at like these fucking guys, like some guys that are like gross looking bald dudes, and you look, oh my god, they used to be a kid. Yeah, they used to be just like me. 
And then one day it all fucking fell out. And they were this g- gross dude with the, the horseshoe around the bottom of the head. Like, what the fuck? That's what I'm going to be? And once you shave your head, like for me, I got lucky I have a good shape. 